Thanks for staying with us. We're still reviewing uh, Vanguard. What's yeah, so ahead? still on minimum wage issue. I'm really interested in this. Yeah. Organized labor is pleading with President Bola Metinubu to prove his love for Nigerian workers and approve their demand of 250,000 naira minimum wage to reflect the present inflationary trend in the country. And they said that um, the, the new uh, tripartite committee of the new national minimum wage and president general of the Maritime Workers Union of Nigeria, uh, Prince Adewale Adeyanju, was accusing the state governors of stalling efforts at achieving a reasonable wage for public workers. He says, if you're an employer of labor and you do not have the love of your workers in your heart, how do you call yourself an employer of labor? That they've had problems with the OPS and the state governors and they believe that they can afford to pay the minimum wage that they are talking about. He says they have been at the negotiating table where they are dragging from 30,000 to 48,000 to 60,000 and they are pricing it as if it's tomatoes and pepper that they are talking about. Even before they arrived at 62,000, it was just back and forth. And he says everybody understands the economic situation in the country. The workers are not happy about it and they are expecting that um, this now is lined with the president to give a go ahead for the 250,000. He said they cannot say they do not have the money to pay. That the president has said that they will pay only what the economy can afford. And they know that the economy can afford it, especially if the governors use their security votes to pay the minimum wage. He says, what are they doing with their security votes? Most people are still not even secured in the states, that they should be able to pay that 250. So they are waiting for the president to say something about this minimum wage. Okay. So I, right, I, right I took the story of um, Chairman Davido. Yeah. I will quote Vanguard. He says, today with will definitely open a new chapter in the love story of pop star David Adeleke, popularly known as Davido, and his partner Chioma Roland as they walk down the aisle in a blaze of glory. So they are getting married today. Um, he confirmed this um, on, on Instagram, I think, and then the venue they don't know, but they are all suspecting it's either Harbour Point or a co-hotel in Victoria Island. Uh -huh. um, they, they said, notwithstanding the venue of the high-profile wedding fans of the unavailable Kuna. That means he's unavailable anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For those that want to know, they started this love story back in 2013. Yes. yes. Oh, and yeah. she got pregnant. Mm -hmm. and oh, what? She's been through a whole, a whole lot. She's been through a, ho a lot. She's um, had four, three or she... four baby mamas from different people. Through it all, she decided she made her decision to stay with him. Yeah, it's reminding she, me she of lost, Two Face, Idibia, lost, and um, yes, and, the other and she and, lost her yeah. child, which was a very mm. devastating experience. Mm. You know, you that, that can break any couple, mm -hmm. and they, even even married couples. Yes, then so. nothing happens. Yeah. You break it off for whatever reason. She still made the decision to stay with this person, and then you know, and she. I think she him. really loves him, and yeah, I think they said um, he went on his Instagram page ahead of the wedding, and he tagged it Chivido. <laughs> yes. Hashtag Chivido2024. We're rooting for them. We're rooting and, for them. We're happy for them. He gave her a surprise um, shower, baby, sh um, wedding shower, yeah. bridal shower. She was, he told her she was going to eat. When she got to the venue, she says, I don't know where. I don't know where. I should be, I'm hungry. Yeah. Next thing you know, she surprise. just saw news and she just started screaming. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we saw that on social media. It's an imperfect love story. It just reminds us that nothing has to be perfect all the time. Can we how talk about the role of the uh, daily case? imperfect? After the loss it's of the baby. imperfect because of how it started. See? How? 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 So Who gave us the template? Can, can make it more complicated and go that and way. And because, because she got pregnant uh, in school without graduation. So that's the imperfect. No, because we might not there, there are a lot of things wrong. Yeah. In that and relationship, then, yeah. by everybody's standards. Yes, everybody has different. But the answers. role of, for me, what stands out for me is the role of the David's dad when they lost their child and the way he silently handled things mm. till they had their twins. Yeah. And you see the father, you know, playing that fatherly role because, you know, um, David, maybe... Well, hot we can make it a hot topic later if you're interested. But let us um, take this story. I want this, I'm really interested in this. Um, our vice president mm -hmm. was in Sokoto uh, where he, he said... Oh, I think I lost that story. One second. Yeah, he, he was in Sokoto and he was speaking, um, advice the Sokoto state government to protect the sultan. Mm. of Sokoto, his eminence, Alaji Mohammed Said Abubakar III, because it is needed for the growth of the country. The Sultan is, a, is, is the Sultan of Sokoto, but he is so much more than that. He represents an idea, an institution that all of us in this country need to jealously guard, protect, promote, preserve, and project for the growth of our nation. This is coming on the back of the fact that uh, Professor Ishak Akitara, that's the executive director of the Muslim Rights Council, had um, allegedly um, talked about the plot 
to depose the Sultan. No, now they're just deposing emirs here and there, deposing yeah. Obas and kings. So he said, you better guard the Sultan of Sokoto very jealously. A book about chief of press, the chief press secretary of the government was not immediately available for comments, but um, they said that um, there was there were issues where the, the Sokoto state governor, Hamed Ali, had deposed 15 traditional rulers of various offenses. So they cannot be deposing our kings and I traditional rulers. I wish they rulers. had Anyhow. made this wahala when uh, Ganduje first deposed Sanusi. Yes, that no, started don't mind the, them. the spiral. Because yes. they, is, they are doing as if that one didn't happen. Yes. Mm. But that one happened. But he was not in power. Shetima was not in power. There was a deafening silence from the uh, uh, Shetima, everybody do at that time. <laughs> Nobody uh, uh, talk except for Erufa. Were they in power? Everybody. The man that is talking now was not in power. Ah, uh, Shetima. Yeah, he's not was the the senator. the power. Yeah, but he was he not was in, a he was, he was senator, the vice president. He had been governor. Mm -hmm. They do shock He was high up. He at the time. Does he have to be a vice president or two? I like the loud, loud now, Sha. Ah, they are not like the Sha. 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 I'm just the saying rulers. that yeah. I wish they had all talked at the time Ganduja deposed. Because that was they not set the precedent. Right. Okay. Okay. That was they the precedent. They just woke up. Okay. Uh, <laughs> another story. Can we move on? Tablets. We can move on. We're done with the Vanguard now. Tribune. He's new telegraph, please. We have We have trouble. Please bring it up. As you move to the telegram. Please. Please. Let's not run out of time. We'll another day. Epidemiological evidence. NCDC mm. declares public health emergency on cholera. Excuse me. State creation or Hanese favors Anyoma over Orlu in the hey. states for southeast. <coughs> Many loses another X million as AVM Bayo Lawal dies at 83. Uh, 13 trillionaire ways and means. Senate tattles AGF on vital information. And says probe in progress. Court gives Chinese firm to go ahead to seize Nigeria's properties in the UK. Emirates crisis police give reinstated MS protection. And um, Rivers crisis XLG chairman sharp persons defy police and stage protests. Which story? The Colorado. Chinese story. Okay. So you see that our PNID case that we won. The kind of story that 20 like million pound mm -hmm. case. Something, something, yeah. They have attached judgment to it, this Chinese company called. Zongan, Funje, in the Industrial Investment Company. So, they have... Zongan, Funje. Where were you? Let me help you. Chinese. Continue, continue. So, Chad, I'm holding the paper right now. Okay. So, they had a £70 million pound dollar investment treaty with us as a country. And Nigeria, Ogun State particularly, was the state in question. They had a free trade zone agreement that they wanted to build in 2013, mm. and that state now moved <coughs> away. The state now pulled out of that venture, uh, allegedly terminating their participation just after, after three years. Now, these people now went to the um, UN um, mm. um, Commission, I think the Arbitration Court, I'm trying to get his name fully, United Nations Commission on International Trade Law, mm -hmm. and they went there, they got judgment awarded against us. Wow. And we had no property outside the country for that enforcement immediately. The moment we got our P and ID, they attached judgment. So that one. I'm telling you, the one way pay me pass. <coughs> in 2021, they got an enforcement order, an ex parte one, a temporary one. Nigeria did not go and enter reply within the 74 day, day deadline. That they gave not, to us. We didn't do nothing. Oh, wow. July 2023, the Court of Appeal in London stopped Nigeria from bringing our late enforcement order against that um, order, stressing that, you know, provisions, uh, uh, the Cochrane's provisional determination that the state immunity did not apply has become final. And now we are dragging to counter that judgment. Sadly, these people are looking at two of our properties and that we have already commercialized in the UK. Jesus. That's the one that is paining me. Nigerian sovereign property, uh, property owned outside the country were already commercialized. They were already used for business purposes. So they, all the all the impediment that they would have had, we have negated it. They are looking at entering those two properties mm. and getting that judgment. We still have a total of $70 million uh, outstanding. So it's just $20 million pounds. I cannot do the maths now and see whether that covers the entire money. But mm -hmm. it is paining me just reading. I've read it three times. So I'm, where were I'm our, our yeah. representatives the team, at the time this was we happening? Asked that it was supposed to respond. asked since 2021. Was it not President Buhari and uh, Malami that were no, that wow. was at the time? I want to know exactly what thing, what thing happened. Because they're calling some big lawyers, law firms in the UK, and two Nigerian names are showing there. We have to wrap up. Why, uh, we have to wrap up. We have to wrap up. But I, I wanted to talk about the uh, shop right in Abuja. It's closing down. What happened? Due to harsh economic 
So they have given out a... Well um, Let them all go, Waiki. They've all taken advantage of our corruption. No, it's not owned by Nigerians. Sorry. Yeah, which is, it's, it's owned by Nigerians. Nigerians. It's fine. not owned by... South, South Africa, Africa I have left yeah, two yeah, years yeah. ago. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, the you universities, to another topic, are groaning under the harsh NEPA bill. They are getting, uh, in a year, I'm saying in a month, 336 million. <gasps> Who? As NEPA bill. As NEPA bill. Uh, Amadou Bello University, they named several universities, um, Ilori, mm -hmm. all of them. So <laughs> they say that is amounting to 3.4 billion. In a year, I say, ah, uh, we plenty. We go for the water, this regular. nepa. We plenty. My son and myself, <laughs> hey. we go. alternative power, or something. There was candle there. My son said hey. solar. I said, no. It's candle. candle. <laughs> he said, it's candle light. I said, ah, you don't know. <laughs> we go, we go buy up. They will call you now. <laughs> we'll, like, no, no, we'll so go buy lantern. Beach. Yes, I was lantern. telling him that we read the uh, candle. Hey, lantern. Candle. We'll Mommy, that's what used to fragrance room. I said, don't fragrance. Uh, uh, that time, <laughs> now, that time, know, the, now, <laughs> lantern, the cause fire. Go and sleep, forget. You go forget me. Knock your head. And then it burns in my house. That is all we can take on this. Hello. Hey, God. I'm telling you, terrible. We are our problem. Suffering and smiling. Suffering and smiling. cry every day. Let's go on a break. When we come back, we go to our sponsor segment by Mobi Health International. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Can't cry. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. 